Many of you guys have emailed me and you guys were curious about the Han River mystery. Everybody is on the edge of their seat because this mystery is wild one that we had in a very long time. We all want answers and let's try to put some pieces together to see what really could have happened to medical student Son Chung. Mean. And remember hitting just the like button in this video really helps spread these stories so that we could talk about this case so that it does not go cold. And remember I replied to all my early words so hit that notification bell and remember to hit the subscribe button so you do not miss any of the updates in the future cases. So Min was a young medical student. He was born in 1999. He was 22 years in Korean age so technically 21 years of age. He was the only child in the family and he was known to be a very smart student. He even came out in a quiz show on TV and he was one of the runner-up contestants. Since he was an only child, his parents worked very hard to send Min to the best middle school school that they can. He loved to travel and you could see his chat log with his parents. It seemed like he was very close to his family. It's not usual for like the younger child to use formal words with your parents. I don't even. So the fact that he does this, it just meant that he was a very, very bright, smart, respectful kid. On April 20, 25th, he told his family that he was gonna go meet up with a friend A. This was around 10 30 p.m. and you could see inside the apartment elevator CCTV that he was fixing up his shirt and hair just to get ready for this night outing. He lived right near Panpo Hangangkwon which is the famous Han River in Panpo area of Seoul. You guys have probably heard a lot about the Han River Park. It's where a lot of people go to just relax and especially during the COVID days because a lot of bars and restaurants close early. A lot of young adults go to the Han River to drink and hang out with friends just because there's nowhere else to go and a lot of people drink at night and they stay there till like morning sometimes. I've done it before. You could see Min and friend A meet up at the river and they were buying some alcohol at the convenience store. It was said that they bought a lot of alcohol which this part just doesn't make sense to me because they bought about four bottles of soju, three bottles of rice wine, and two bottles of a little bit of a weaker soju type. Regardless, it's nine bottles of alcohol in the end. It's two people. That is a lot, you guys. It's really not the amount that normal people drink, especially for 21 year olds. Now, before Min and A were hanging out, police found some chat logs with Min and his other friend, B. Min texted his other friend friend, what are you doing? B, in class, why? Min, haha, A wants to drink with me all of a sudden. Now, it's the first time he said this. Then Min tries to invite friend B over and B says that he can't make it and Min says, He's never been like this, I'm taken back, referring to friend A for inviting Min to hang out in a long time. Then friend B says, that's new, it's like the dead person came back alive. Min's mother then texts Min around 1.30 a.m. telling him not to drink too much. And then supposedly Min uploads a Instagram video or a story of him and A dancing around kind of drunk and tipsy. So it seemed like they were having a fun day at the moment. So this is the moment when timeline gets a little bit foggy. Supposedly around 3.30 a.m., A calls his father saying that Min will not wake up because he's intoxicated. A's father supposedly tells A, please wake your friend up and you come home. Then it's 4.30 a.m. and friend A is seen leaving the river park and took a taxi ride home. Now supposedly A, when he got home, he told his parents that he couldn't really find Min. So supposedly at around 5 a.m., that's when A's parents and A come back to the river to look for Min. The CCTV shows A and his parents looking for Min and this footage is bizarre because A has his hands in his pocket. He seems like he's still a little bit intoxicated, like he's still drunk. He hasn't really woken up yet. He's seen like laying on the ground. I mean, this, this is bizarre. So here's a strange part number one. Why is A's parents and A there looking for Min and not Min's parents? Now later it was revealed that they never alerted Min's parents that Min was missing until 5 30 a.m. when they just couldn't find Min. Why wouldn't you call the missing child's parents and you're both of the parents come all the way to the river to look for someone else's child? Or maybe they knew that their son was out drinking late with his friends so they felt bad calling the parents because they felt kind of responsible. So maybe they thought they would have found Min right there sleeping on the ground and they felt a little bit embarrassed. I don't know. But 
But it is odd that if you thought that maybe he was lying on the ground, drunk, sleeping somewhere, why did the both of the parents at 5 a.m. come out to look for someone? Unless they already knew that something possibly could have went really sour. So Min's parents came out to look for Min, everyone together, and obviously what's the first thing you do? Min's mother tried to call Min's cell phone. That's the first thing you do when you want to look for someone, call their cell phone. But this is when A picked up the phone. All this time, a had Min's phone in his pocket. Now when Min's mother asked A, why do you have his phone? A said he doesn't know. He doesn't remember. He thinks it got switched while they were drunk. But again, strange part number two, they have two different phones. It was said that Min used a Galaxy Samsung phone and A used an iPhone. So the fact that even if he was tipsy or drunk, that he didn't know that the phone was switched. And if you guys know, I've been an iPhone user and an Android user, and those two are very different. It's so hard to use an Android when you've been using an iPhone for the longest time and vice versa. So in conclusion, A claims that he doesn't remember what happened between 2 to 5 a.m. because he was so drunk again they bought nine bottles of alcohol so in a way if you drink let's say like three and a half bottles each oh my god i'm sure you wouldn't remember so while everybody is looking for min now min's father asked ace father to give the shoe that a wore that day just in case you know that there's some kind of evidence there some kind of clues that they could find and a's father supposedly without hesitation said my wife threw the shoe away and min's father just found that answer really odd because he says that the normal thing that you should say is oh well, let me look oh let me see what happened to the shoe you know that should be the normal answer that you should say but A's father just immediately said we threw it away supposedly the family threw the shoe away that day because it was really dirty and I've been to the Han River as well and unless it's like raining there shouldn't be any mud and would you guys throw a shoe away because it gets muddy I mean the first thing you do is usually clean it I don't know how dirty it got that his shoe would they had to throw it away so does he actually not remember what happened in those three four hours or does he police then tried to do hypnosis on a in order for him to remember and both times he failed the hypnosis test police tried to then look for a's phone in order to track where min could be or what could have possibly happened and still till this day a's phone have not been found While the search rescue was going on, Min's father wrote on a blog site about his son. This blog blew up online and now the whole entire nation of Korea knows about Sun Jung Min. Without him writing online, honestly, people might not even pay attention to this case. Then a week passed by when finally the rescue team found a body inside the river. And this body was indeed revealed to be Min. And when Min's father took a look at Min's body, he noticed that there was like a palm mark on his cheeks and abrasions in the back of his head. Now later professionals concluded that these abrasions in the head could not have caused someone to pass away and it could have been due to being slightly hit while being underwater or by a rock but in conclusion it could not have caused a death. So let's talk about the suspicions of friend A. Remember A called A's father around 3 30 a.m to alert his father that his friend Min wasn't waking up. Now it turns out that Min's family did not know about this call until police dug it up in the phone forensic. So for some reason, A and his family never told Min's family about the specific call. Again, maybe they just thought that this was not important or maybe they didn't want to get in trouble because they were being kind of held responsible. And this part is really important because if A didn't call his father, a call Min's father that moment at 3.30 a.m. that could have possibly saved Min's life. I mean, Min's parents live literally five minutes away from where they were. Why did he have to call his own parents to alert that his friend wasn't waking up? Sometime between 2 to 4 a.m., A testified saying that Min was running around 
around making weird noises. And during the time when A tried to get Min up from the ground, this is when his shoes got dirty. Then A fell back asleep shortly after, he woke up, and he saw that Min was no longer there, and that's when he decided to come home. Another strange part, police did a forensic evidence on Min's phone technically that A had, and they found that A never called his own phone that probably Min had if the phones were mixed up. Isn't this really strange? I mean, the first thing that you do if you lost your own phone and your friend had it and you don't know where your friend went when you woke up, wouldn't the first thing you try to do is to call the phone? Now, it was said that Min's phone that A had had no passcode in it, so he was able to access that phone. It was also revealed that A got a new temporary phone the next day, which a lot of people say this is a behavior that someone does when you know you're never going to find or want to find your phone again. Now, a very recent picture by a witness or bystander that took a picture of Min and A that day came forward and submitted this picture to the police. A couple of the witnesses that saw Min and A that day says that the two boys were throwing up due to being under influence of alcohol. At 2.10 a.m., Min was on the ground, passed out, and A went on top of Min and lied down. 2.15 a.m., A went through the pockets of Min and took something, according to the witness. 2.18, A tries to wake Min up by grabbing his hands and Min just fell to the ground. 2.50 a.m., the two just lied on the ground. Shortly after, witnesses saw A lying about 10 meters away from the river. At this time, they say that A was alone, just lying down, seemed like he was sleeping. So during this critical 40 minutes to an hour, something happened to Min. Now the question is, did someone push Min into the water or did Min do this to himself? Recent autopsy showed that Min likely drowned and that's how he passed away, which means that his heart was still beating and he was technically still alive before he went into the water. Now, according to Min's good friends, they claim that Min strictly hates the water. A couple times they went to the beach and Min would just not go in the water, not even take up his shoes because that's how much he hated water. And another CCTV of what netizens think looks like A is holding Min by the back. Police at the moment are saying that that's not possible as this image is too fast for someone to be holding another body and start running. It definitely does look like someone is holding Min from the back. But again, this picture is so grainy that we don't know. Remember that iPhone that was found near the river, but A claims that that's not his phone? Whoever threw away this red iPhone, they took the SIM card out and it was totally busted, like someone did not want them to find this phone. And in these CCTV footages, People are saying that it seems like A has a red iPhone. What is this red thing that's popping out time to time? Again, is this because of grainy image? Is this his wallet? What is this red thing that is in his pocket? This has not been confirmed. Police also recently found a video from Min's phone. And this is a video filmed that day between the two friends where Min is seen saying, you were really wrong about the golden. Then A is supposedly seen kneeling down as a joke. Now, what is this golden word? People are just trying to figure out what this golden means and police supposedly say golden is the name of a hip hop singer, but netizens are not believing this because it doesn't really make sense. Like, but if you put that together, you are really wrong about the singer. Hmm. Like it sounds a little off. It sounds a little weird. So we still don't know what this golden means and what kind of exchange that they had. There was a possible, possible theory by just one netizen that a lot of people raised awareness for. Again, this is just a theory. Someone said maybe it could have been that since Min and his friends really like to film videos, fun videos for Instagram, like dare videos that usually a lot of guys do, that the two possibly were filming some kind of dare video. He made Min go inside the water or something something like that since they were super out of it and that's just how Min ended up drowning. Now I'm not sure if that theory really makes sense because it does seem like at this moment what A told the police does correlate with the evidence that we found especially with the pictures and the statements by the witnesses. Also the witnesses said that they didn't see A and Min fighting or anything like that. It just seemed like they were super super drunk. There's a lot of people just blaming fingers and pointing fingers at A and their family and they're even sending them threats. Min's father also did point out that he thought it was weird that the family and A brought lawyers 
letters to the police office when they were being investigated. He thought that was odd because if he had nothing to hide, why would you hire a lawyer right away? But a lot of professionals say that this is a normal behavior and I kind of do understand this because I've been to police questioning before. Not that I did anything wrong, but I've been to police station and being questioned. And I know a lot of people bring lawyers even for the smallest, weirdest thing because you know they've never been through this. They've never been through police questioning. So the biggest mystery in question that we have is how did Min get from the ground to the water? And why did A want to drink and hang out with Min that day? And what was the reason that they drank so much alcohol? And what was the reason why A took Min's phone? Or was there something that he wanted to find out about Min? Or wanted to get something out of him? Do you think that A did something to Min rather accidentally or intentionally that led Min to end up in the water? Let me know what you guys have thought. If there's any developing updates, I will keep you guys updated. If you have nothing else to watch next, let me suggest you these videos for you to watch.